my friend Santa Cuckoo just driving someone somewhere and thought I would come on and do a little bit of um, vlogging see how this goes um, just heard on the radio that we are to expect not one but two more storms to roll through so we already have a ton of moisture in the ground and we don't get a lot of rain here in California so it's really soggy out my son's tennis shoes got real drenched just walking home from school, so. But, um, I had a question. I wanted to see if I'm the only one that does this, so I'm not feeling great. Still very much in this cold that I've been hit with. So, Something that I find that I do when I'm not feeling well is I wear makeup to make myself feel better. But I wear too much makeup. So like tonight, I don't have to do anything. I'm going to run by Target real quick. But um, I'm just driving someone somewhere and then I'll just be driving home. And I put on like a lot of eye makeup like too much eye makeup and I just wondered if I was the only one out there that did that like do you sometimes go a little heavy with the blush thinking oh this will make me look better or at least feel better or you get a little crazy with the eyeliner and a little heavy-handed and um, I don't know just thought I might throw it out there and see if I'm the only one that does that so if I find anything good out at Target, um, I'll share it. Um, might have time to run down to the 99 cent store and see what they have. So I'll share anything that I find worthwhile. See you guys soon, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So um, I said in the beginning of this video, um, that I would bring you guys anything noteworthy from the Target dollar spot. The problem is there was so much. I happened to just get there when they were loading everything they had just gotten. There had to have been six Target employees putting stuff out. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna link this video to another separate video I'll upload. I got so much footage that I think it would just be too long together. So I was just gonna share the four things that, actually there's five, there's a hidden one behind me that I picked up when I was there. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and probably put that up as a shop with me. So keep your eyes open for that. If you have little kids like five and under, they're coming out with this whole line of felt toys that are amazing. I wish they had them when my kids were little. They had felt money, felt um, pizza for counting the pepperonis, and then you can do division and subtraction, and oh, it's amazing. They had some French toast that was like puffy little bread with some eggs and bacon, um, they had vegetables, um, really cute things for little kids. They're also coming out with a whole line of birthday items. It's like this whole colorful birthday confetti line that's super cute. I did get some footage, but again, I think I'm just gonna keep this to Valentine's Day and do that separately because there was so much. I did stop by two targets. So, in a future video, I may take you guys with me. My two targets closest to my home are a total of five minutes door to door. Why they're so close, I don't know, but they always have different things from each other. One is smaller, one is larger, one is old, one is new. Um, but often, if I'm going to go hit the target, I hit them both because it's totally different experience. So that being said, um, I'm just going to share the four things that I did pick up. Um, there's a total of five things, but I got two of one thing. So I'll just start here. Um, 
they did have this at my first larger target I did not see it at my second smaller target so this is just like a little gold jewelry hanging pedestal I guess um, it is an arrow at the top it was three dollars and um, now I am a big girl and I wear long necklaces so this is not for me this is for my daughter um, she's much smaller and very petite and she could put necklaces on this um, someone older I think this would be very good for bracelets actually and I think that would be cute they could dangle down um, you could just use this in your house as Valentine's decor you could even paint it if you wanted it white I think that would be very cute for Valentine's Day you could maybe hang some string and put a few hearts hanging it would be adorable so jewelry hanger three dollars and found it at only one of my targets so far I'll do this also I was gonna wear it in the video but it just looked like I was drowning and I didn't buy it for myself so it's this super duper cute scarf with gold polka dots on a white and so it's like a two-tone so it's a pink sewn together with a white with gold polka dot and it's an infinity scarf now I don't wear infinity scarves I wear long scarves that just drape but something like this would make me feel too claustrophobic as you can tell I'm always in a V neck or something with a scoop um, I picked that up for my daughter for Valentine's Day um, just to wear anytime really that she wants it's super cute it's really too young for me in my opinion um, I'm gonna be 41 very soon and to me this screams like teenager or maybe 20s but um, they did have other prints I didn't pick any of the others up I deliberately went into my little target looking for this scarf her and I had been out at Hobby Lobby and found a really cute cream colored scarf with gold arrows on it and she had said oh mom this would be cute for Valentine's Day with like a red shirt now that one was like $8.99 and even if you use a 40% off coupon it would be more than this little three dollar number the other ones that I saw there I didn't see any metallics this was the only one with the gold I saw a few floral so they were really really cute and I just picked that up for her because it was only three dollars I had seen it on another channel um, oh I forget the girl's name she's always hauling pink and teal things and so I thought that would be cute and picked that up I picked up a pack of these little pre-cut felt hearts and um, I think these are gonna be fun I might use these on my little Valentine's tree that I showed you guys the white where I hung the Christmas jewels that are red um, there's six of each color so what I'm gonna do is just stitch with white thread stitch two of these together put a little bit of stuffing in the middle and then like make a loop maybe out of twine or something and make some little heart ornaments for my little white tree and my hair is falling out of my new clip and this hairstyle can I just digress for a minute is like helpful right now because my hair needs to grow out but it reminds me of when I was working full-time I was a nurse in the hospital and so to me this hairstyle screams hospital so you'll have to forgive me if I'm super annoyed with my hair right now um, anyways back to these um, I'm feeling chatty you can tell I'm feeling better and I'm getting over this cold quite well I took a I was telling a friend I took a hard nap yesterday like when you're pregnant and you wake up with drool on your pillow like a hard nap and I think I slept this cold off because I've felt ever better ever since I took that nap anyways back to the hearts sorry for the digression um, these are already cut out and they already have the scallop I do have scissors that do this but for one dollar to get them already cut out just so I can hop on that craft would be great now I know I have a problem I don't need anybody to tell me I have a problem 
but I got two of these. I know, I know I don't need any more cake pedestals. I mean, look behind me. And there's three on my kitchen counter too. Two in my living room. And I got two more. But one of them is right here with the little um, pink cake on it. So I had purchased these in red from the Target dollar spot. They're $3 each, which, hello, $3 for a super cute little white cake pedestal. And um, I had found these cute smaller cupcake versions at Michael's on clearance. So I took back the red. I took back the red ones. Um, I do want to keep these little red ones and I have a few I got on clearance at Target. I actually picked a few up for 50 cents. So I want to remake them. Um, I don't love the wood that they're on, but these will be great I think for Easter, for birthdays, for any old time. And then I am going to pull these red ones back out for 4th of July because I just think they're so cute. Now I did put my 99 cents only hearts behind me, I have to put batteries in them still. And I'm looking for some lettering to make them into those conversational hearts and stickers. And I finally just put my cabinet together. So I'll share a Valentine home decor tour soon. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, I think I'm going to start a series in February um, that I'm going to call Fun Fact Friday because there's a lot about YouTube that I don't know still. I just kind of jumped on on a whim. And so I don't know how much you guys know about my channel or about me. So look forward to that coming up in a few weeks. Um, and I will be bringing you guys a TJ Maxx haul and a 99 cents only grocery haul that is the mother load. I spent just under $60 and I got at least $260 worth of groceries. So if you're interested in that, that's coming up. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Like I said, stay dry if you're in California like me and sogging wet with the rain. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.